Fish Guy here for another video for today. A couple of days ago at Locals, I decided to revisit Dragon League. I haven't played this deck in many months, um, but I want to give it a go. Now that Protoss has banned, the deck is a bit more playable. So I played a relatively small local, it was only about 22 players, and I came second with this deck. I went X01, so I drew one game, 1-3. Um, I'll go through my matchups later on, but we will fly through the deck profile. Any questions, as always, guys, feel free to leave below. The deck performed very well. It's more of a mid-range deck now than a combo deck, in my opinion. Um, I'm not playing the mill version, so there is a lot of success at the moment with the um, the zombie vampire X-Wing that mills for. I have got that. I do want to play that version, but I was missing key cards. I couldn't have a snow. But now I do have that version. This version instead is a DP Dragon version, so it makes a very simple board state. We're not doing a Scythe Lock, we're just making DP just as an interruption. Normal summons wise, we're playing three Starly Safer. This card's insane, it gets you any cards you need. Send it at a level four, basically. Uh, two Black Metal for the Red MD package. Uh, I'm not playing Chamber. I was originally playing a 45 card version, but I played out a few uh, re uh, locals a few weeks back just to revisit it. I took up Chamber because in this version, it wasn't doing as much as I wanted. Chamber is a really good card. I was originally playing three, then I was playing one. Now I'm playing none, um, and I'm not missing it that much. If I was playing the mill version, I probably would go back and add in a chamber or two, um, just as maybe like a mill with tidying, things like that. Otherwise, these all work. Safer is obviously the best normal summon in the deck, but Black Mail is pretty good as well. Chain blocks your Striker Dragon. Into the Rocket Engine, we're playing three Tracer. Some people cut it down to two. That's fine. I'm playing three um, just because I want to see it as much as I can. One Rocket Sync one. This should be a two of. Um, I highly agree with everyone that thinks this is a two of. The problem is I don't own two. Again, I just couldn't find it. I have two now, but I'm playing. This is what I played last week. Um, if you have two, it means that it can be your follow-up play, so you can uh, go like seal into abs router, abs router when it goes adds this, you normally summon this, summon back the abs router, make savage as your turn three play, which is quite nice. Um, at the moment as a one of, it's like if you play the hot red play, then it, it, this is done, which is a bit of a problem unless you have the boost set to still up. Uh, one rocket recharger because it's the best of a level four and then two absolute dragon as an extender slash as your like you can search yourself like you can dump the star of dragon ravine um you can mill it off chaos ruler and it's really good that way as well the other engines we are playing white black uh, as our chaos dragons along with levian here we're not playing brotor um i was again playing it in the 45 card version i just cut it down to 41 because i wanted to get rid of some of that um like skimp off the top um, yeah, this card's really good. Obviously, these cards are great. These cards are really insane, especially for Chaos Space. Uh, the one Red MD because oh, we're playing Black Metal. Two Nocto because it's a free extender and the draw card is nice. Uh, and obviously, Destrudo's back, so now we're playing a Destrudo. I'm not playing any of like the wacky combo Brave version. I'm just playing like bog standard Dragon Link with the Chaos and Tracer and Rocket Engines. And it makes a good enough board. Normally, it makes like Seal Savage DPE or Seal Hot Red DPE. Um, depending on my hand, the best board I made all day was Seal, IP, DPE, Hot Red. And I went Seal, Tribute, Summon, Nocto, Nocto plus IP into Dark, Nocto draw a card. And obviously when they out the Dark, I added a Rocket Tracer, which was then a Savage next turn, um, which was really nice. So that's always good. Uh, the deck isn't like wombo combo-y in a way that you can make a pretty beefy board, but its, it's main thing is in it's like ability to just grind and make a pretty decent deck. Uh, sorry, a pretty decent board plus hand traps. That's the big benefit of this deck at the moment. We are playing, obviously, uh, the DP package. This whole package is really nice. The draw two is really, really good. Um, sometimes you will mill these off the Chaos Ruler, but that's not a problem because you can not add them because they're dark. You just mill everything else, so it's not it's not actually a problem if you hit them. It is a problem if you hit both because it obviously kills the whole engine, but if you hit one, it's not too bad. Uh, hand traps, three ash. I know it's not light or dark, but it's too good not to play. Um, three lance, yeah, the best hand trap in the format. And the fact that you can add this off to Chaos Ruler is really nice. Uh, three Gamma, because it's a free Chaos Ruler. Um, like normal summer safe foot send. Um, to add level four, they ash it. You just go Gamma. And then you get a free Chaos Ruler. And then you also get to add like a Tracer as well at that point, which is really nice. Um, I'm side decking Nib. So uh, in some matchups, the Ash just comes out and put in a Nib. Uh, if I was playing the mill version entirely, the Ash would be Ogre because you can add it off the Chaos Ruler and Ogre is actually pretty good in this format. 
Or maybe DD Crow as well, actually. I was going to side DD Crow, but I suppose I could main it. Because obviously it hits DP, hits Eldritch, hits some of the um, like brave soup engines that are going around. Um, Chaos Space. It's really nice. It's probably like the best best card in the deck. If I was going to ash any card in this deck, it would be Chaos Space. Because it's... Uh, a, if you ash it, it's a neg 2 in theory on its own. But like the advantage you get off this one card is insane. Like, this gets you your Chaos Engine, which is like a summon and a search and summon and another search and this is like a put back draw one so it's like it's like plus two three off one card so if you're going to ash anything in the stack ash the chaos space uh three quick launch they look really nice and secret i misread this card in one of my matchups so my draw was against altergeist and because i haven't played dragon link in so long i thought they could still attack if some of quick launch so it was literally right in the, the dark depths of game three we're going near the time um, he breaks my board, he stops my plays, so I have all I have is Tracer on board, I go the DP engine, draw two cards, I drew double quick launch, I think he just he has just Silk on board, so I go, okay, Tracer on board, attack into your Silk, still in battle phase, quick launch, summon, attack, he, he summons something, if it is manifestation into Maluseek, crash into that, and I go, okay, um it's still, it's still in battle phase my another quick launch some attack and then we were like oh wait no they can't attack anyway so it's a draw and then well time got called literally in battle phase so it didn't matter either way um but yeah otherwise this card's really insane i can't believe it's still at three just a free extender not once per turn from deck it's really nice it's like probably one of my favorite cards in the deck um two fusion destiny obviously it's at two now sometimes you see it times sometimes you don't boot set to launch and dragon ravine dragon ravine's really nice you send abs out if you if you need it if you don't need it you send distrudo for a free extender later on and then guys it's that part of the video where i give a shout out to a channel that i personally watch again i've not been paid not asked to do this is just out of the good of my heart this week's shout out goes out to Card Kid Yu Gi Oh! This is someone from uh, one of my locals. He is quite young and he's done videos before. Uh, recently, he came first with DDD at another one of his locals. So, we've all been at that point where we've got a YouTube channel and we're just starting off. And it's really important to go go show some support because that's the only way he's ever going to gain traction. Even if you don't personally like to watch these people's videos, it can really help them out if you just go and give them a bit of a hand um, until the people that do want to watch your stuff start watching them. So, you know, go go give him a view, go give him a like. He will get there eventually, which is really nice. Anyway, on to the extra deck. We are playing one Striker Dragon, one Pisty. Not once the whole event uh, did I actually resolve Pisty. So there's just no real point, in my opinion, at the moment. Obviously, if you're playing like Triple Burst, you can do it that way. But I was just using this as a link one to summon the Baby Chaos Dragons and then like link them off to get the other ones into Romulus. That was the only way I was doing that. Uh, two seal because it's non-targeting bounce and it's really really good uh sometimes off of its summon from deck you just get abs router sometimes i get destrudo um one time i got knocked division like i said because i can link with ip for the draw romulus gets you dragon ravine quad borrow is the fifth nymph card i added in because it's a pop and in some occasions if it's a really grindy game you can pop itself to summon two from grave make savage verte is verte pay 2k summon dpe uh, dark dark's really good because you can obviously steal your opponent's deep uh, verte to make your own dp or you can steal your opponent's dp and keep that in rotation um dark is also really nice because when it goes it can add your your rocket synchron slash rocket tracer slash uh, like red uh, dark metal gives you any of like your starters which is really good ip because uh, we can make unicorn off of it which is really nice or sometimes i just make ip before making the boros sword so it can't be popped by some like um, Eldritch Traps, which is quite nice. Boros Swords, obviously, our game ender. The reason I'm playing this deck is because I don't own an access code. I have Prank Kids, sleep, like, sleeved up right next to me, but I don't own, don't own an access code still, so I'm playing Boros Sword um, because I can play Dragon Link. Uh, Chaos Rulers, this card's insane. Like, just mill five, add a lot of dark, so this gets you a Lancia, gets you um, a Gamma if you, like, for every reason you need it. Most of the time you end up milling a few spells, which isn't great, but then you mill Chaos Space, which is so good when you mill it. So, um, yeah, Chaos Rule is a good card. Uh, Savage, because it's the best next good level 8, along with Hot Red, uh, level 9 Synchro, you make it with the Chaos Ruler, or you make it with um, Savage if it's used up as a negate, so you just need a negate on board. And then finally, last card is DP, because this card's insane. This card will carry you. Um, if you don't know what you're doing with the deck, like me, uh, I'm, I'm not a great Dragon Link player, I just like know the basic combos. And obviously because I haven't played the deck in so long, um, 
sometimes I was just like, it would just slap down a DP. And sometimes this was enough in certain matchups. Like, this is enough to win you the game. Like, a pop every turn is really good. So most of my inboards were like DP plus seal with a few hand traps. Sometimes it was DP, seal, savage. And that was just enough to win me the game every time. Side deck. So, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais? Ricky Martin. Uh, the good tokens. Anyway, so three Dark Ruler, three Nibiru. Uh, this is my anti-combo hate. Obviously, Nibiru you can add off the Chaos Room Ruler, which is quite nice. And for back row, because I hate back row, three evenly, two Cyclone, two Twin Twisters, because sometimes they Lancer you, Duster, and Pankratops. Um, opening two of these per versus back row is really nice. Like against the Geist player, I open evenly Pank. Um, so evenly is bored, and then he summoned Silk, um, uh, Faker, so I just summon the pank and that threatens the silk anyway, which is really nice. Um, matchups wise, round one, I had the mirror match, I played against another Rocket Dragon Link player, which was pretty nice. Thankfully, I went first, so I managed to get the win that way. Um, round two, I'm playing against Earth Machine, which is why like the Nibiru and the side deck came in a lot. Um, and then you just make like seal DP and they just can't play because they need to put things on board unless they draw urgent schedule. Round three was Altered Geist, and we drew because we went to game three. Um, and round four was Two Joker Eldritch, which doesn't sound that good, but remember, this is round four, we're both XO, so he was obviously doing something right, and that's where just DP came in, like, insane, just every turn, like, oh, you activate your heritage, to dupe something, no, not allowed, um, oh, you're setting back row if you're Eldritch, no, not allowed, it's really, really good. Do I think this deck's competitive? Yes, I actually think the deck's really good right now, and if I go to originals, which I am, I'll probably be playing uh, Dragon Link, um, the only problems it does have is things like Tikaboo. It can also lose to Skill Drain in some matchups. Um, I did get Nibiru a few times. I didn't really respect it. The only time you can really play around Nibiru is by making Seal. Because if that gets tributed, you summon Red MD. And then obviously that way you can end on either another Seal. Or you can end on a Verte if you've used Tracer Effect to lock you into Dark Grid at that turn. There will probably be some combo videos coming up in this deck soon, and I probably will also test the mill version with snow and galaxy spirals, because um, I do have all those cards now, which is quite nice. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, because obviously I'm nearly at 2k subscribers, which would be a good benefit. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Goodbye.